Hey everyone, my name is Chris, and I've been programming in C++ for 15 years. Um, yeah, so I was going through some old files, and I tend to keep everything that I write. Um, I just have this paranoia that I'm going to need it in the future, even if it's like total scrap or, you know, just following a tutorial that I read online. Um, and I could just look it up again if I ever needed to, but for some reason, just always brought my code files with me. Uh, and old, you know, old like college uh, homework and, and those sorts of things. Um, but I was going through those files, uh, seeing what uh, I need to back up, and I found a C++ file. It's probably my first compiling C++ file that I wrote uh, June 23rd, 2008. Uh, so that was 15 years ago. And um, it got me kind of reflecting on my time writing with C++. Uh, I'm a, I work professionally as a programmer doing game development, and I use C++ every day uh, that I'm writing code. Um, and I see a lot of uh, people online telling new programmers that uh, they shouldn't actually learn C++, and that uh, it's a problematic language, and it's old, and uh, if you start learning C++, you're going to get frustrated and quit programming altogether, and all these things. Um, but as much as I do have problems with the language, um, it's not perfect. I don't think any programming language is, and um, especially something that tries to be as general purpose as a lot of programming languages are, um, there's going to be problems. Uh, but I think if you're starting out, you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, I don't think you even have to worry if you're going to be using the programming language that you're learning a year from now. Uh, all you need to really worry about is that you're trying to write code, you're not getting fixated on doing it the right way, uh, just you're trying to get stuff up on the screen, trying to, you know, change, mutate files the way that you want to mutate them, whatever kind of programming you're doing, as long as you're doing it and learning and hitting your head up against the wall, finding errors uh, and learning to debug, I think that is a great way to start out. Um, I don't think you have to pick any kind of specific language. Um, so I think it is all time well spent. Um, and that the reason I, I think that I want to say this is I think starting out, I really did get fixated on like, am I learning things the right way? Um, I was always trying to figure out how people I looked up to learned. And I'm like, well, obviously the way they learned is how I should learn because they're the best at it and I want to be the best at it. Um, and I think that actually caused me to kind of not do a lot of the things that I should have done. I don't think I was spending a lot of time programming. I was probably too concerned about, you know, typing in some magical bad code that would forever render me uh, useless as a programmer. And um, I think writing bad code um, more often and find, figuring out what bad code was that way uh, would have done me uh, a lot of good and probably saved me a lot of time. Um, but yeah, um, it, it worked out. Uh, I don't think, you know, there's really any end of the world situation for anyone's programming learnings. I think if you're interested and uh, you enjoy it or you think you might enjoy it, just get on your computer, open up your IDE of choice and, and write some code. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.